Hi everyone, I'm Liz Mercado, your independent Sensi Superstar Consultant. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about events and how they are crucial to your business. You might be thinking, I don't wanna do events. That's scary, talking to all these people. But let me tell you, they are a lot of fun. I love doing events. I've been doing events since I started my Sensi career. So I wanna share with you today why do events, how to find events, couple of things you need to take with you, some tips, and then I will show you a video and some pictures of my event setups. So let's get started, right? Let me tell you why events are amazing and why they are crucial to your business. So you might be thinking, I started my business, I did my list of 100, I contacted people, I've had hostesses, I've had orders, but now what? Now how do I meet new people? Events help you network and meet new people, new customers, new hostesses, and new team members. So an event is great for sales, but should not be your focus. I said it, that's right. It should not be your focus because you are there to network, to make connections, to meet new people that will help you keep building your business. Let me give you an example. So you go to an event and you sell to everyone that came across your booth. And you're probably thinking, I had an amazing event. I sold XYZ amount. That's great. But let's turn it around and say, you went to an event and you made great connections and you have a couple of new customers, you have a couple of new parties booked on your, on your calendar and you have one one team member, one new team member. Let's just leave it at one, right? Everyone wants more than one, but let's leave it at one. So now, these new customers, they ordered, they, they got stuff at the event, they ordered next month's warmer, two, three months down the road, they ordered again. Your hostess's parties turned out to be an amazing XYZ party, and your team members are rocking it. You catch on board? Making those connections have led to building your business and building it in the sales aspect as well. So you don't want to just focus on the immediate sale of today because if you're not connecting with them, those customers will probably just buy Sensi from the next event that they go to. If you connect with them and you make them feel important and valued, they're going to come back to you. So in turn, you turn a event that might have cost you 40, 50, a hundred dollars into a financial gain. Now, don't stop making your connections just at the customers that come through your booth. You also want to connect with the organizer. This will help if they put on any other events for them to think back on you, for them to remember their consultants at that event. And so you want to connect with them and let them know that you would love to keep in contact and know about any future events and also connect with the consultants that are around you or at the event. Help each other to find new events, become friends. And I always say like, get to know them regardless if you already have a other rep for that company because you never know when a rep will either not be available for an event or they stop selling for any reason. So you always wanna make contact. It doesn't matter if you already have a rep for that company. And making a contact does not mean that you have to buy from them. It's just having a conversation, asking them, have you ever done this event before? You know, do you, how do you find your events? Et cetera, et cetera. Making that contact and helping each other out will help you build a tribe of consultants in the same aspect of business that you're in. Now, how do you find events? Well, I find events through mostly on Facebook. Social media has been amazing at helping find events. So Facebook groups or event pages are great. Like groups that are geared to vendor finding are amazing. Um, the Facebook event tab is also really good. You can search by your calendar, your city, um, and you can adjust it to whatever dates that you're looking for. So it's really amazing how you can filter down the search. You can also use community calendars, radio calendars, but the best one of all is word of mouth. Let your customers know that you do events. Take pictures when you're at an event. 
put it on your VIP page or on your business page. Let them know. This will help you to get events at schools, clubs, community, things that are local, things that are giving back to the community, and people always love to see us giving back. They love to see us working with the community. So I love when my customers call me up and say, hey, I have an event at my, at my kid's school. Would you like to be a vendor? And I'm like, yes, because one, it's local. Two, it's with people that I might know or get to know through this connection. Now, what do you need to bring? Well, first thing, depending on the event, you might need to bring a table. Um, you always wanna ask about that. You always wanna make sure that they're providing a table or if you need to bring tables. Um, so you might want to invest in a six foot table that folds down. Um, I, I have two and I love them. Like they just fold and I can put them in my trunk and, and go. Um, something to gather information. If you haven't gotten the enter my drawing slips from the Sensi Family Store, which they're amazing, you can easily print one on your computer or just print out like a spreadsheet type thing that has like name, number, email, just to gather people's information. You want to get their information so one, you can follow up with them, make sure they love their Sensi, and two, add them to your emailing list. Sensi provides us with this and it is amazing because you don't know who's gonna buy from you a year from now because they're on your email listing and they saw something that they just have to have. Um, bring whatever stock you have. Now if you don't have stock, if you're new or just don't like having in stock, that's fine. Bring your display warmers, bring some samples and just set up a display and take orders. I love bringing my product sheets. Now these are in the family and Sensi family store as well. They're so much more um, budget friendly than catalogs. So I do not give catalogs out at events. That's my personal preference. I give out product sheets. This package comes with 350 um, sheets. Um, Basically, it comes with 150 sheets. I forgot what they're called. And I just fold them and I take them with me. I stamp them with my information because you want to make sure everything has your information. And I give them out. And then I have samples that I make and I put it with my business card. Now, usually, they're not this fancy. This was just for a really, really fancy event and I had leftovers because I made like 500. <laughs> so I've just been using them as I go. But for your samples, you can either use wax, um, you can use lotion, you can use washer wipes, whatever you have in stock that you can make some samples. Um, just make some samples and put them in little baggies and when people come up, you can give them a sample of what Sensi is. And of course, you need you and a positive attitude. I cannot share enough stories about how an event has gone amazing for me because of my attitude and has gone completely bad for somebody else because of their negative attitude. So if you have a positive attitude, you're gonna have a good time, you're gonna have a good event. Now, just a couple of tips before I share with you guys my displays. Be engaging, have a smile, say hello to people as they're walking by. Do not just sit behind your table and slouch and just kind of be like non-approachable. People don't want to come into a booth if they don't feel like they can be, like they can't approach you. So make sure that when you're there, you know, shake off the jitters, put some positive music on while you're driving and be super ecstatic to be there. This is a great opportunity for you to share your love for Sensi and your business. And you're not just sharing the product, you're sharing you because they will have you as their consultant. So if you are super friendly and outgoing, they're gonna love that. They're gonna want to do business with you. So I am gonna go ahead and share with you guys some of my displays. So I am at an event and like I said in my introduction, I just want you guys to see how I set up. And I set up for different events differently, but this one is a music festival. So we are, the stage is right there. 
there's a lot of different vendors here. So I like to set up this way with my tables on the end of the canopy because that way if there's multiple people at my booth, they can kind of walk in and out comfortably without feeling crowded. So I do put all of my warmers on one side and my diffusers and then I put my bars and other products on another side. This way they kind of have room to go through the trays of wax or look at other products in the meantime that maybe someone is selecting a warmer. Um, and then of course I just have like little things like this one's for seasonal so this is like the little sign that I got um, from Target. Um, and these trays I actually got them from Walmart in the laundry section. They're awesome. They fit 12 bars per row and three rows so 36 bars. So it's an easy way for me to transport my bars. Now, like I said, anything can work. You can have an L shape, you can have them together, you can have, you know, a small table and a long table. It's up to you how you want to set up your booth. But I have found that this is very comfortable. So if you are looking for ideas, this might work for you.